What's up with that? That's fucking ugly. <laughs> How long are you in LA for? Just the weekend. Bramley sent me out to meet the client because apparently they're not important enough for him to go. Mm. Whatever, it's a free first class trip, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> kind of weird they didn't put you up at a hotel. Oh, not they did. Then why are you here? Thought it'd be nice for us to catch up. Oh, yeah, uh, do you want to go to dinner with Victoria tonight? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, she wants me to meet this new guy she's been seeing, but I'd rather not spend my Friday night third wheeling. <laughs> I'd be happy to go with you. I just can't believe her and Charles broke up. I mean, they seem so perfect for each other. Yeah, perfect, like, pineapple on pizza. You do know that's a thing people actually do, right? Right, right, no, of course I, yeah. You're cute. <laughs> uh, how's New York? Great. <laughs> It's definitely a fun city. I mean, I'm always too fucking busy to actually enjoy it. When I do, it's nice. <laughs> so are you seeing anybody? What? Are you seeing anybody? I, um... No. No, I'm not anymore. No. So there was someone, then? Was what? Why are you asking me? I mean... You broke up with me, remember? So? That means I can't be curious about your life? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna go get ready. Can I use your shower? Yeah, sure. Awesome, thanks. Oh my god! Oh, oh, hey, you are nice so to see you as well. Right. Oh, 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 where are my manners? Maya, Liz, Tomas. Hmm. Uh, Tom's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Tomas, Maya, Tom. Liz. Just, just Tom's fine. So, how have you been? How are you? I'll be great. Mm -hmm. You know, just spending a lot of time with this guy. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really excited. I've never been here before. Well, I, I thought you'd feel a little bit at home here. I'm digging the whole mom and pop bougie vibe. Yes. <laughs> well, also, I mean, I, I thought the tile, you know, it, it reminds me so much of all those colorful Puerto Rican homes, you know, the oh. ones you've been telling me so much oh, about. Yeah, they're very tiled over there. <laughs> Such a sense of community where Tomas is from, and I just I really admire that a lot. <laughs> it's true. Although my mom still gets super pissed when I don't call her. <laughs> <laughs> you should really talk to her, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call her, call her at some point. Speaking of, how's, how's your mom? Uh, yeah, yeah, she's she's good. Saw her two days ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, miss her. Can I get you guys started with something to drink? Yeah, I think we would all like a bottle of wine for the table. Mm -hmm. Do you have something of the of the Spanish persuasion? What do you mean? You know, something earthy, or body. We'll, we'll just, just have, have the house be now. <laughs> So, what do you guys do out here? Oh, she oh, doesn't. Yeah, I don't live out here. I'm just visiting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm from New York, actually. Oh, how, how do you like it? It's great. You know, I'm just really busy all of the time, but I'm an investment banker. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what do you do? Music. I do music. Right. So, different. Yeah, yeah, very different. Mm -hmm. Opposite to track, though. Right. <laughs> um, so, how, how about you guys? How did you meet? Oh, it's a really great story, actually. Um, it's not that great of a story. It's pretty <laughs> mm, simple. <laughs> no, it, what? it's not. Okay, it's not that simple. Um, okay. So um, we were both at the grocery store and we're both in the fruit aisle and I had to reach for a cantaloupe on one side and he reached for the same cantaloupe on the other side. And the music swelled and we locked eyes and time froze and we met on Tinder. It was very, very <laughs> casual. Well, I mean, it's like the shorter version. Um, right, that. yes. I often confuse <laughs> Tinder and the grocery store as well. So We can't all have first meetings as romantic as you two did. Oh, yeah. How, how'd you two meet? Well, uh, <laughs> it was freshman year, and Victoria and I were leaving our music theory class, and we're walking down the hallway with the practice rooms, and I see Maya playing guitar and singing some Fleetwood Mac song, <laughs> and she just looked so beautiful, so I wrote my number down and slid it under the door, and the rest is history, I guess. Oh, you are quite the hot couple. Oh, no, no, we're not 
we're not. Wait, you're not hot? <laughs> no, 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 we're not, we're not, um, we're not still dating. Yeah, we're broken. Oh, now. God, I'm so sorry. I didn't no, mean to, like, no, like, make it awkward. No, or, it's all good. It was, it like, was a long time ago. I just assumed. Ago. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> yeah, but we're, we're friends now. We're good. It's all cool. Yeah. Um, plus I, I met Victoria through Liz, so, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, we were in the same story together. Yeah, Delta Kappa. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sisters for life. Yay! Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Mm, yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> so, back to you two. Yes. You guys met on Tinder. Um, I mean, I don't really know how the Tinder thing is really all that relevant. It's not. No, I know, but it's something to be ashamed of. It's the 21st century. Everybody meets on Tinder. <laughs> True. True. There's so many cute guys, too. What's a girl to do? Since when are you back on the D? Well, <laughs> how often do you go on? Every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, I was really scraping the bottom of the barrel there, and then, you know, <laughs> just cast a line and reeled in this fish. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, Victoria. Oh, hi. Hey, hey, Charles. Hey, Maya, what's going on? Liz, mm-hmm. come down from New York. Yeah, wow. just for the weekend. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, well, we just uh, just finished a wonderful meal here, so uh, you know, it was nice. It was great, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. really nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mia. Uh, hi, Mia. I'm Maya. Oh, uh, Mia. Hi. <laughs> Liz. Hey. Tom. <laughs> Victoria. Oh, she's... Oh, you're... Okay. I've heard a lot about you. I'm sure you have. So, you get enough uh, sleep? No. Actually, uh, Tomas and I have been having a lot of fun most nights, so I'm not getting much much sleep at all. Same here, so... <laughs> really? Because you both look like you have very nice clothes. Like, you look like you're... You're putting in a full eight hours, maybe nine. Okay, right. we should go. Oh, no, we're just catching up here. Just a couple of friends catching up. Right, right. So, um, anything else you want to ask me, or, or can I get back to my date here? Uh, yeah, actually, I had a question. Um, how'd you two meet? We met over some melons at the grocery store. We met on Tinder. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, okay, you know what? You and your, and your little bimbo over here better vacate the premises immediately. <laughs> Look, listen, you can't tell me what to do oh, anymore, right? Oh, you don't and think for that your I information, can't? me and I are going to be hanging around for a long time. So just get that through your noggin, okay? Mia? What, what kind of name is Mia? How is, how is this spicy? For the record, Mia is Mexican, which I can't say the same for Tommy over here. Um, it's, it's Tomas. Tom. It's, Tom. it's Tomas, and he's from Puerto Rico. You racist! Right. Oh, this is so like you. She's like whiter than I am. Tienes que no hago eso todo el tiempo. Hija de puta, eres más racista que mi abuela. Sabes que nos tenemos que. See, look where you started. Look, look. I came in here waving the white flag. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Friends. A white flag. Friends. You came in with a fucking, fucking giant Go, red flag. Giant red. Fucking matador. Yeah, like right. A, yeah. Like a, this way. Oh, oh yeah. Red. If I'm the matador, then what does that make you? Oh, you're just oh, like it makes me a ball. fucking raging yeah, bull ball. because you're you do it. At me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, guess what? I told you, they have gone completely off the deep end since college. Yeah, but you didn't warn me they'd be like an episode of bad reality TV. <laughs> yeah, but like, no warning was going to prepare you for that. I mean, I wasn't even prepared for that. Do you remember that winter formal I took you to and then Victoria peed in that closet? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> she peed in the coat closet! <laughs> wow. And then on the subway ride home, she gave a lap dance to that random dude. Remember that? She was trying to make Charles jealous. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, look, I have you to remind me. What'd you come here for, Liz? I thought it'd be nice to catch up. We can catch up anytime. We both have phones. Yeah, but it's different in person. I can't... I can't do this over the phone. I thought 
thought you stopped wanting to do that after we graduated. Maya, what were we supposed to do? Long distance from LA to New York for the rest of our lives? See, that's the thing. I never said I had to come to LA. I was more than willing to go to New York with you. Right, then it all would have turned out so perfect. Oh my God, give me a break, Maya. We are completely different people. We wouldn't have even lasted past college. Right, I guess there's only so many years you can hide being a dyke from your parents, huh? Or maybe you can just accept the fact that maybe I'm bisexual. Mm. See, that's the thing. Deciding to date men because your parents are gonna approve doesn't make you bisexual. It just means you're in denial. Fuck you. Bite me. Wait, wait, don't you think we should talk about this? Why? It's not like it means anything. Well, it does to me. Look, I, I don't expect you to understand, but I need you to hear me out. I fell in love with a very different person than who you are now. And over the past year, I have just been holding on to hope that maybe she was gonna come back. Because the Liz that I fell in love with was so funny and smart and kind and special but i just i can't keep doing this anymore and i hope that you find her because someone else really deserves to fall in love with her the way that i did i think you should stay at your hotel tonight Breath is my only gift. Will I?